Assalamu alaikum welcome to another session in this session we will take one analog signal from the PLC and we're gonna take that towards HMI so how are we gonna do that uh, let's start doing it by taking a move instruction from here I will not do super fancy program if you're expecting it is just you know to give you basic understanding how it works actually this the system how it works like I, I'm gonna just take IW0 and I'm gonna put this guy there to QW0 that's it now QW0 I want to take it into the PLC how I can uh, how I can accomplish that that's gonna be the part of today's session okay so hope you are uh, you understand what we're gonna do today so just first download it as we do before just test it here like whether it's working very well here then it's fine and in fact we have to run that and after that just click on this watch and now where is this is a bit I don't want bit I need to have a decimal value so I what is that I w0 I w0 here we go and then slider it might be here if it is slider decimal okay so whatever we are posting here you can see the value is different here like it seems like it's showing hexadecimal and I just want to make it to decibel so that you guys can see that what is the value so yeah so it's working very well and let's see whether we can take that value to our like whatever is our input it is just like copying that you know that move instruction what is it is you know the move instruction what how it works like it's just copying whatever you have at the input side of it it will just copy whatever you have at the output side of it it's just like iw0 equal to qw0 so you understand now uh, go to this guy and remove this box as we were stating before like now i have to take some display for analog value before connection was already established same you can use that and then after that in tags you can define another tag here and now rest of the things are very simple connection one for sure and then we can what is that tag it is word right so I just take that word and then Q W how much that's Q W 0 so it is already 0 so Q W 0 that's how you are taking a word like if you have a memory then you can select from here for like memory and then if you have a like timer you can select the timer from here if you have integer you can select the integer if you have a real value then you can select the real value from here counter everything is available here so that's very fine and if you have word and you are trying to get the memory web for memory word like for example mw0 then you can select m here and w0 will be the same uh, w0 will be same so that's okay and then when when we are done with it the next step is go to the screen and take on what is what is you can use it to see that value maybe this one bar so you have to place that and now you have to play with that how you can actually that's gonna be very much interesting and here we go general properties first we have to give the general properties what is the maximum value Let's see how it goes maybe 900 is okay up to 900 seems okay so for the sake of example I'm making this so yeah and then you are gonna associate the process tag with that so here we go you have associated past process tag with that and then after that now you can play with it how you have to just run that and see how it works actually Here we go. We got a slider 
and we got a values here see we have a zero the value will be zero let's give that value and that normal decimal where is normal decimal here we go so that I can uh, input the value for example 100 you will see when you will click 100 here it will be 100 over there also and if you will click here for instance 200 then it will reach the 200 and if you are gonna click here 900 so it's reaching to 900 so that's how you work with analog signals thanks for watching take care bye